Hello and welcome to the GeoCoast. The aim of this video is to introduce you to different types of coastal landscapes or landforms. And in order to do that, I just spent a few days driving around different parts of Ireland in order to show you some representative examples. And generally speaking, um, Ireland is a perfect place to study coastal landforms. As being a relatively small island, it has the whole variety of different coastal types. So we don't need to drive to or fly to different parts of the world to see those um, examples. All coastal landscapes can be subdivided into two large groups, erosional and depositional. The erosional landscapes are formed due to erosion of uh, landmass, which can be represented by rocks or soils, by the movements of the ocean over the uh, dry land. And the material which has been eroded from rocks or soils, then being transported by the currents, by the waves, and is being deposited somewhere. So this results in uh, the production of what we call depositional landforms. I'm sitting here uh, on the south coast of Ireland overlooking the Ardmore Bay in County Waterford. And what we look at here, uh, down below, is uh, one of the most common types of depositional landforms, uh, which is what we're looking at, it's, it's a beach. Yeah? So the beach can be formed with sand or gravel. If sand dries out at low tide, it can be transported by the wind, as we can see here in Lahinch in County Clare. And if the wind is blowing on shore, this will result in the formation of sand dunes, uh, which you see there in the background. They can be low relief sand dunes, as these ones in Ballycotton Bay, or larger sand dunes, as we can see here in Tramore in County Waterford, which are also colonized by morum grass, which stabilizes the sand dunes. If uh, a beach is attached to the mainland from one end, one end and extending out at sea, this is called a spit, as this one in Ross Bay in County Kerry, which is also topped by sand dunes. And if the spit grows out uh, to connect mainland to an island, this is called a tambola. Now let's have a look at erosional landforms. Here we're standing on the Cliffs of Moor, one of the most spectacular cliffs in the world, rising 200 meters above sea level, um, which are formed due to sea erosion. And here we're looking at the Sea Stark, which is a standalone rock in front of the cliffs, which was once connected uh, to the mainland as part of a sea arch, as you can see on this image. And here we're looking at the old head of Kinsale in County Cork, and we can see rock cliffs, we can see sea stark and shore platforms in front of the cliffs. If the lower part of the cliff composed of softer rock type or has some unconformities like fractures, this will result in faster erosion, therefore forming sea caves like these ones at Mizzenhead and County Cork. Sometimes you can enter those sea caves uh, at low tide, like this sea cave at the old head of Kinsale Peninsula. And here I'm going to enter one of the sea caves at the start of the Ballycotton Cliff Walk in East County Cork, which has been formed in the Red Devonian Sandstone uh, as the sea has expanded uh, the localized unconformity within the rock. If the cliffs are formed in soils, they're called earth cliffs, like these ones in Ballycotton Bay or these ones at the front of the sand dunes in La Hinge in County Clare. There's a lot more to say about different types of coastal landscapes and if you would like to learn more please visit the GeoCoast YouTube channel so you would be able to see more videos from different parts of Ireland. 